Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Now I am so, so sorry that there has not been a video in the last few weeks and honestly I've just been in a little bit of a funk. Um, I've had like a really productive morning, like doing my workout, getting ready to take content and then it's just come to take content and I've just just not and I just couldn't it was just the, the weirdest few weeks but I feel like I just needed that break and yeah I feel so productive now I'm back I'm here um, and I've got so many good videos planned for you guys so yeah I'm so excited to share those with you so in today's video I thought I would share with you my five top blazers for spring and also style them um, for you as well I have styled these blazers quite a few different outfits before in photos so when I'm showing you a blazer I'll also show you some other ways that I've styled them on Instagram um, if you're not already following me on instagram i will leave the link down below um my username is rachel claire holland okay so the first blazer that i'm going to show you is was probably my first purchase for spring um so you might have seen this a few times before um but i absolutely love it it's this like linen style blazer from weekday all of the blazers from weekday i usually get an eu 38 which i think is the equivalent to a size 10 it's in this gorgeous linen texture the fit of this is really really nice and the price is 45 pounds which is literally unbelievable for such a good quality blazer i love the fact that the collar on this is like quite large i think it looks really really nice um the sleeves are quite wide as well so it's like the perfect oversized blazer it has a little tortoise shell button here and then it's got pockets on either side now this blazer honestly you have to purchase it i think for the price it's really really great great quality i've worn this so many different ways i've worn this with like a white top joggers with over the top for like a more casual outfit um you can wear it with like a bralette wide leg jeans and trainers which is how i've styled it for this video you can also dress it up i think this would look really really nice with like um a pair of like skinny leather trousers and then maybe like a belt around the waist for something a little bit more smarter there's so many outfits that you can yeah style this blazer with so i think it's definitely worth purchasing for your wardrobe okay next is a new purchase this one was of course from zara and this is like a mint green texture blazer now i got this one in a size medium and it was 59.99 so slightly more on the expensive side um but honestly i absolutely love the color of this blazer um it's kind of like a linen texture again really similar to the weekday one um but what i like about this blazer is it's more of a long line blazer rather than a block boxy blazer so i did size up i obviously got a medium um but you can wear this one on its own or with like items underneath so in the cutaways i have styled this on its own with a pair of trainers i have also styled this before with like a bralette jumper of the shoulder and jeans um and I, yeah i think it's a great blazer um to have in your wardrobe for spring or summer it has the dye to match buttons on the front there it also has the pockets and then it's also got um this at the back but i've not actually undone that yet because i find that because i'm wearing it as a dress it's actually quite nice to have it done up if that makes sense you can never fault Zara for their blazers. Their quality is literally amazing. This one has shoulder pads in the side, which again makes a really nice structure if you want to wear this a little bit more dressy. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to wear this blazer when it gets a little bit warmer. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've styled it with like trainers in the cutaways on its own. You could also pop some heels on as well if you wanted to dress it up. And yeah, absolutely love the colour of it. It's just such a gorgeous blazer. It is lined all the way through as well, which is again, amazing quality from Zara. Next up, we have a blazer from Forth and Reckless. Now I love Forth and Reckless as a brand. Um, definitely check out their stuff if you've not already. I just absolutely loved the style of this blazer because it's different to anything that I've got in my current collection. So just for reference, I've got this one in the UK 8. I do find their blazers and stuff quite oversized, so I wouldn't size up like two sizes. I would definitely only size up the one. This one's in the colour of a... Oh. <laughs> This one's in the colour olive and it is the Aiden blazer. Now what I loved about this blazer was that it has kind of like a short collar and then it has the button up quite high, if that makes sense. So I think it looks great dressed around but it's also kind of like more of a smarter blazer. Um, I have styled this with like a black top and jeans for a more casual outfit. But again, I would probably wear this with like the black top and maybe leather trousers and like heels if you wanted to dress it up. Um, it's such a versatile blazer. It's again got the shoulder pads either side. Um, 
And this one is definitely more of a lightweight blazer compared to the Zara and the weekday one, which again, I really, really like. And I just feel like the shape is so nice. It's kind of hard to show you the shape holding up, but yeah, it's such a lovely shape. And again, it is lined fully as well. And then another blazer that I have got from Zara is this cropped one. I got this one in a size large because I wanted it to be quite oversized. I like the effect when you wear like a skinny a trouser or like a skinny legging or a skinny jean. And then you have like the oversized blazer effect over the top. Um, this one was $49.99 and again the quality is literally incredible. It is in this like taupe like nudie colour. Um, really really thick, really really structured. It's got quite big shoulder pads there. And then it's just got, you can, again, it's got like a slit on the sleeve there, which you can obviously pull apart the stitching if you want. But yeah, I quite like it as it is. Um, and then you can, all, it's got the two buttons on the front there, so you can tie them up if you wanted it even more structured um so i've styled this before with like a white bralette jeans and heels um in the cutaways i've styled it more casually so i've put on popped on a little black tank top my nasty girl trousers and trainers and yeah it's just so versatile i've seen people wear crop blazers with like a gray pair of joggers and trainers as well like more of an oversized jogger um so yeah i'm gonna get so much wear out of this and especially as we go into april and in the uk you're allowed to like go outside for drinks and food and stuff i feel like blazers like this is just perfect to like have on your shoulder if it just gets a, a little bit colder in the evenings and yeah i really really love it it's such a great one and it does go out of stock quite a lot but it does keep coming back in stock so i definitely keep an eye on that one and then the final blazer that i wanted to show you is an all-time favorite from arkit now this is definitely more on the more expensive size this one is 135 pounds again i get them in the same size as the weekday ones um i get them in eu 38 you can't fault the fit of these they fit the fit is amazing um i would personally say though um it's not that much different in quality to the weekday one for 45 pounds um but i do love the color of this and i couldn't find the color anywhere else it's kind of like a khaki brownies type of color um just to compare it to this one from four from reckless do you know what i mean like it's like a really muted color which i really really like it's just got the pocket detail on the front there and then it's got two flap pockets either side and then it's got the single tortoise shell button as well it is fully lined all inside so yeah it is a really really good quality blazer um but like i said if you're if 135 pound is a bit out of your budget then i would definitely look at some of the weekday ones i really wish weekday did some more colors in their blazers but they only have that one and the black one at that price which is pretty frustrating because they're such a great fit um but yeah i have styled this blazer so many different ways before um in the winter well in the autumn i styled it with like an oversized black jumper um tights and boots or even trainers i have styled this with like a tank top and jeans and then also in the cutaways i've styled it with like a cropped knit bralette joggers and trainers as well so yeah like i said all of these blazers here are so versatile and if you want some more inspiration than what i'm giving you now definitely head across to my instagram because all i live in at the moment is blazers it's like right now like it's sunny outside but it is a little bit cold so i always need like something over my shoulders and i think blazers are great so i'm really hoping that your guys are not border blazers because that's all i'm really wearing at the moment and on my instagram so yeah it's not going to be great if you're getting bored of them but yeah love a good blazer again again you could style this more dressy i just love all of like the the muted like greens and nudes and like taupe colors like the color palette of my blazer collection is just yeah it's really really good i'll pop a picture if i've still got it up here of when i, I popped a one on my story of all of the colors and they just look so good together and they literally go with any colors well i guess even some of them you could add like a little pop of color in there as well but for me when i mostly wear like whites neutrals and blacks all of these just go perfectly and i can wear them so many different ways so guys that is the end of the video i really hope you enjoyed it and i promise you there will not be a gap again i have planned my videos for the whole of march well for the rest of march even though we're kind of halfway through um and some of april as well so yeah stay tuned for that i think on sunday we have a what's new in my wardrobe i have some new pieces from zara and other stories and also asos so look forward to that and i shall see you in the next video bye